Peace, infinite waters diving deep once again. We are here, 10 signs of your past life. Let's just, woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Do you sometimes feel like you've been to planet Earth before? Everything seems awfully familiar and we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? <laughs> so I get tons of messages about past lives, reincarnation. So we got a whole lot to talk about. Now, I'm on my way to the airport and I get out of the car and the driver's like, see you in the next life. I'm like, that's pretty cool, right? Yeah, I'll see you in the next life because I'm definitely not gonna see you again with all of these people in this world, right? I might. But it's amazing how we say statements like that. I'll see you in the next life. Along my early journey, I started to realize that, yes, I've definitely been to planet Earth before. And be a devout skeptic. Don't believe anything you hear from anybody. That's my philosophy, but I knew it because I was experiencing epic familiarity. Like, wait a minute. Like I would go to different countries and it's like, I've been here before. Yes, I've definitely been here before. It even smells the same, that good ass prana baby. And then I was studying psychology and I came across Helen Wambach psychologist who would hypnotize people she delved into past life regression and when she would hypnotize people she would ask them specific questions about their past lives what were you wearing and they would recall so much information some people were maids and they were telling her about their past life. Dr. Ian Stevenson, he spent 40 years of his life traveling all around Asia and he got research from over 3,000 children recalling past life experiences, memories from a past life. Now, if you go to many ancient civilizations, ancient Egypt, they talk of reincarnation, that we have one soul, but many lives. They talk of the macabre, mer meaning light, ka, ba, ka spirit, ba body. So our light body vehicle, this is just a, a vehicle. It's pretty, it's pretty nice, I know, but inside it, we have a soul which is immortal, which is constantly coming back to planet Earth because we have a lot of lessons to learn, baby. In ancient China, Tibet, even Europe, across Africa, everywhere, people have spoken about reincarnation. Socrates said, I'm so confident that the dead souls are living amongst us right now. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. So, what is the first sign of your past life? What helped me along my journey was to realize it begins with the name. You see, I know you're a baby <laughs> and they just call you something. How nice, right? It could be Ralph, it could be Sarah, Patrick, whatever name they give you, you certainly didn't choose it. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so parents name us, they give us a name. But later on in life, when you name yourself, that is a clue 
to your past life. So I'm by the ocean one day and I just say, infinite waters diving. Wait a minute, where did that come from? Nobody knows. Like, that was the name I chose for myself, Infinite Waters. Because I had this past memory that I was living in ancient Egypt by the ocean and everything was beautiful. <laughs> so a lot of people, even in ancient cultures, they would give themselves their own name and their name had power. It was personal to them. It meant something to them. And that was a clue to their past life. So what is your alias? What is your name right now? Some people go by the name of Rain Man, Water Woman, Sun Man, Goddess this, Goddess that. Names are clues because word is bond. And if you name yourself something, that name will lead you into who you were before this incarnation. What is the second sign of your past life? Area of interest. Now, I meet a lot of people. I meet people who have amazing talents, gifts, and abilities. I'm like, how did you do that? And they're like, it's a secret, Ralph. I'm like, okay. Now, every one of us has a unique gift and talent. But I've realized that, like, I freeline skate. Not a lot of people do that. I've seen people who are amazing at science from a very young age, amazing at mathematics, at dancing. So where did all of these gifts come from? Certainly not this lifetime. And your area of interest, what you naturally gravitate towards is a clue to your past life because whatever we are doing now, we were doing then. Marcus Aurelius, the philosopher said, Whatever we do now echoes on into eternity. So your area of interest, if you have a great interest in science, dancing, sewing, eating, seven day vegan challenge, stuffing a whole load of grapes in your mouth, it's so, so delicious, baby, right? That's a clue to who you were before this incarnation. What is a third sign of your past life. Level of consciousness. Now, consciousness means awareness. And I've seen this time and time again that you see there is no past or future. The past, present, and the future are all happening simultaneously. Therefore, it's like an infinite timeline. And I realized that Sometimes we call people sleepers. Oh, they're asleep in the matrix. They're not really awake yet. And I realized that, you see, every one of us is at a different level of consciousness based on our past lives. So I don't know it all. Neither does the cat down the road. I'm always growing and learning. There are people who know far more than me because of their experiences from their past life. But you see, we all know something and we all have something to offer. But sometimes people say, Ralph, I just wanna wake them up to the truth that we are infinite beings. But what we don't realize is the level of consciousness. And that's also a clue to our past lives. So if you are reading the Numa Elish, right? <laughs> One of the Sumerian texts, powerful information, that's a clue to your past life. You're diving deep. You're unraveling the secrets of life. Maybe you're into the Kabbalah. You're diving deep once again. And then some people don't wanna know nothing about that. And that's 
fine because once again their timeline is very different from your timeline everyone on planet earth is here to learn a different lesson so when you realize the level of consciousness you have really is a clue of your past life like i knew i was a priest somewhere in ancient egypt washing your feet actually you were washing mine we were having a great time, <laughs> right? Because I'm always diving deep. I knew from a young age that I wanted to talk. And when I have a past life regression, I go back and I'm like talking to people. And that's what I'm doing right now. Whatever we do now echoes on into eternity. <laughs> what is the fourth sign of your past life? unresolved issues and magnificent strengths. You see, one soul, but many lives. And what's helped me along my journey in ancient Egypt, in every temple, it said, know thyself. When you know yourself, you will come to know the secrets of the universe. So, we would all love to think that we are so perfect, squeaky clean human beings. <laughs> no, we're not. I am work in progress. And I realize I also have unresolved issues. And this is a clue to my past life. Like what am I working on right now? What can I change about myself? What can I improve? What didn't I do back then that I have to work on right now? If you are very aggressive, right? That's coming from a past life. Who were you? What were you doing? Well, this incarnation, you have to work on that. I realize my previous past life, one of them, because I've had so many, goodness gracious, right? I was all about trying to get free. And right now, I'm freer than I've ever been. So we take off from where we left off. So take a look at your life and say, okay, am I a jealous person? Am I envious? Where is this coming from? You see, so many of us, we've had past life traumas, not from our childhood, but from a past life. It goes way back, baby, right? So we also though, have these magnificent strengths. Certain people are very calm. I'm a Pisces, I'm very calm. We're very compassionate, kind. All of these attributes weren't cultivated in this lifetime. They were cultivated in the previous incarnations. And we are just working on ourselves and it gets carried on. Albert Einstein said, Energy can't be destroyed, it can only be transferred. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. So we know our past life, we know our past life based on our strengths and our weaknesses. And the beauty of it is that we can always remold ourselves and reshape ourselves and become anything we choose in this life and the next. What is the fifth sign of your past life? People will remind you of it. Now I've seen this along my journey because sometimes like people just message me out of the blue and I'm like, I know you, I know you, we know each other right? All of these faces look familiar, right? So people will remind you of it. Sometimes people are like Ralph, Infinite Waters, I know you and I know them. We don't even see each other as human beings. It's more like an energy connection. People will remind you of your greatness. I remind people that, hey, you got a great talent. This is a past life gift. Use it. 
people always remind us people say ralph gosh your videos have changed my life i say i'm so thankful baby <laughs> right so people will remind you of your past life the interactions will remind you the intimate meetings conversations will remind you of your past life with certain people we call them magic connections what is the sixth sign of your past life you have a certain affinity to certain foods you have an affinity to certain foods like I don't like watermelons, I'm so sorry, but I love strawberries and I love, absolutely love grapes. When I was younger, I said, mom, I had to always smell my food before I actually ate it. And I'm like, did they poison me in a past life or something? Well, I'm back, can I get a hello? <laughs> I'm back reincarnated, baby. I'm a nerd, no one ever really dies. So. <laughs> if you have an affinity to certain foods I've got a wonderful friend who absolutely loves acai some people love watermelon some people love dates some people love like mangoes with a passion they love certain foods and it's like where did this come from and it could be that this is all we ate in a past life or we kind of had great memories eating this in a past life and it's transferred to our current life, right? So find out what kind of foods you are gravitating towards. I realized this, that in my past life, I used to eat animals and I stopped. And guess what? When I was born, I was eating animals again. Then I remembered my past life that no, this is not the way because animals are my friends. Like my sister, when she was like 11 years old, she said, I don't want to eat meat. And my mom was like, where did that come from? Like, who says that at 11 years old? But that's coming from a past life. She had an affinity to the plant-based diet. She's a vegetarian. I'm a vegan over 13 years. We ain't even had breakfast yet. <laughs> what is a seventh sign of your past life? You have a, you have an affinity to certain languages, to a certain language. For me, it was Portuguese. I love Brazil. I've been there and I'm going back, baby. Been there lots of times, right? <laughs> and I was just listening to Bossa Nova, Tom Jobim, fantastic composer. And I was learning Portuguese just by listening to Bossa Nova. By the age of 21, I could speak Portuguese fluently. Then I went to Brazil and the rest, the rest is history, right? And I'm like, where did this come from? How can I just speak a language just like that? Then I realized in one lifetime, I was in Brazil, in Ipanema Beach drinking some acai with you. <laughs> Don't you remember? <laughs> right? So are you gravitating to a certain language? It could be French. It could be Amharic, right? Could be Hebrew. It could be anything, any language, right? If you have a natural affinity for that language, that's a clue of your past life. You could have been in that geographical region. What is the eighth sign of your past life? Reoccurring dreams. Now, the dreams we have, I've seen along my journey, are reflections of the life we live. Sometimes I meet people and they tell me that they keep dreaming of a certain situation a certain scenario over and 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 over again right that's a clue to your past life because once again when you are dreaming you are now entering the infinite timeline where the past present and the future are all one they're all happening simultaneously so i was dreaming that i was in ancient egypt 
as a priest. And I'm like, I keep having this dream. And I'm like, okay, Egypt, 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 right? That's why my first name was Kemet Prince One. Egypt means Kemet, right? That's his original name. So I'm a Kemet Prince. Now, it's funny because when we talk of past lives and reincarnation, everyone's like, I was a prince, I was a king and a queen. Once again, going back to Helen Wambach's research, some people describe themselves as being maids, right? So when you are having this, when you are having these reoccurring dreams, take heed, buy a dream journal, because that's a clue into your past life. And sometimes you're thinking, okay, why do I even know, why do I even need to know about past lives, Ralph? How can it even help me become my greatest version? You see, our subconscious mind governs 95% of our behavior. That's a lot. That's pretty much all of it. Now check this out. Dreams are how your subconscious mind communicate to you. <laughs> your subconscious mind, which you aren't even aware of most of the time, comes from stored memories and routines not just from this lifetime, but from previous incarnations. So it's fascinating. What I love to do is to always write down my dreams and say, why am I dreaming of this all the time? Like I haven't had breakfast yet. <laughs> What's the ninth sign of your past life? Deja vu's. Okay, now deja vu's are so powerful. Have you ever been to a place and think, wait a minute, I've been here before. I was in Jordan and I'm like passing by these massive rocks and caves and I'm like, I've definitely been here before. I don't know when, <laughs> that's another story, but I've definitely been here before because it smells so familiar. It's like, I know this place from somewhere. Sometimes you meet someone and you're like, I know them from somewhere, right? Deja vu's. Sometimes it's the glitch in the matrix where you realize we could all be living in a computer simulation, right? When we talk of past lives, we're talking about how reality is not what it seems. The deja vu experience that we could just be living infinite lifetimes over and over and over and over and over again, right? And it's amazing because you realize there is nothing to worry about because whatever we do now echoes on into eternity. And we just, once again, take off from where we left off. But check this out. What I've realized along my journey is that the beauty of past life regression is to say, okay, past lives can help us become better human beings because it's like, okay, I made a lot of mistakes in my past, but now in the present moment, I can learn from them. I can now actually have an opportunity to become something totally new. But I said, every day we are born again. It is what we do today that matters the most. And what is the 10th sign of your past life? Ah! <laughs> phobias. Now this is so common because a lot of us, we have certain phobias. Some people don't like flying. Like my mom doesn't like flying. What is my phobia? I used to be pretty scared of spiders for some reason. And then I'm like, actually, this is like a program from society. No, I'm, I'm actually scared of spiders. I used to be. Now I'm not anymore because I realized I had to confront my fear. Your phobia could be snakes. It could be public speaking. It could be you're afraid of the big bad wolf somewhere, right? So what I realized along my journey is that your fear level 
what you are afraid of, what you aren't afraid of is a clue into your past life. Like I'm not afraid of talking, of saying, can I get a hello there? Cause I've been doing it for eons, baby. I'm, an, I'm as old as time itself and time is infinite. So it has no age. <laughs> so the beauty of past lives in a nutshell is that we can learn from who we were before and we can become even better right now because there is only now. So there you have it in a nutshell, 10 signs of your past life. Do you feel you've had a past life experience? What is it? Tell me, I wanna know, cause we may have been hanging out and saying, feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello? We are here just whoa, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Have a beautiful day. Infinite waters, diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy. Peace. You. <laughs>